Welcome back guys to another Marvel Champions The Card Game video. I'm going to be playing a Wanda Maximoff Scarlet Witch Protection deck build. We've been having fun with this deck lately and um, the pre-con deck was Justice and as much as I had fun with that deck, I felt that protection really would work well for what the idea was going for. So, as always, before I go into a playthrough, I'm going to quickly run through the cards and show you what the deck does and what cards I put into the deck. So first of all, we'll look at uh, Wanda herself. So, she has a hand size of 6. 10 hit points, she has 3 recovery, and her action, superpowered siblings, that you discard 2 cards from your hand and draw 2 cards, or 3 cards, if Pietro Maxoff is in play once per round. It's the same ability as a Quicksilver has in his alter ego side. The uh, hero side has 2 fort, 1 attack, 2 defense, a hand size of 5. She's the Avenger, Mystic Keywords. She has Chaos Control, Interrupt. When boost icons on the counter card will be counted, to our top card of the encounter deck and count the number of boost icons on that card instead. So essentially from this and lots of other cards in here build do, they manipulate the encounter deck. Think of her as very chaotic, she's constantly going for the counter deck using cards, boost icons, and a lot of her cards are going to be about counting the number of boost icons to do extra damage, do certain effects. So this ability and other ones in her deck, you can manipulate the encounter deck and get certain ones you need, certain boost icons. It's better when I show you when I play the, play the game, but that's what she does. So that's the hero. And these are her signature cards. Obviously, as all heroes, they get 15 cards. So first of all, we have her ally. It's Quicksilver, uh, Pietro Maximoff. He uh, costs four, has four hit points, one four to two attack. As an action, once per phase, you can ready Quicksilver. Quite similar to his um, regular hero build. He's a pretty decent hero, particularly because you can basically attack twice. You can do four damage him straight away, or you can defend, may take a hit, and then ready up. It's pretty useful, but it's good to have out because you can use with uh, her ability to draw extra cards. Next up we have three copies of Magic Shield. Now what these do are, they are an upgrade for one. It's a hero interrupt when a friendly character will take any amount of damage. Discard Magic Shield, prevent three of that damage. So essentially these work really well in a protection build because you're going to basically pump up Scarlet Witch with lots of defensive upgrades and just basically take no damage and keep using that ability to not take any damage and defend and then in the meantime hit back over a powerful event cards which I'll show you in a second. Uh, next up we have one copy of Chaos Magic. This is a really interesting card. It costs zero. It's a hero action. Play a card from your hand ignoring its resource cost. Discard cards from the encounter deck equals that card's printed resource cost. This is a really good card if you have something in your hand like Quicksilver or maybe Hexbolt or something that's cost quite a lot. It basically it, it, it basically lets you play it for three. You just discard cards instead. So if I wanted to play uh, Warp Reality, instead of paying the cost, I discard one card from the encounter deck instead. It's a bit chaotic, like her deck implies, but it's really, really handy when you um, want to play some high-cost cards for free. We have one copy of Warp Reality. So this is a hero interrupt for one. When an encounter card is revealed from the encounter deck, cancel all of its effects and discard it. So I've cast up an encounter deck equal to the number of boost icons on that card. Like I said before, manipulating boost icons does have certain effects at other cards. So this is kind of like Spider-Man's uh, card where well, it cancels treacheries. It just discards cards in the encounter deck instead. It's still a really useful card though. Great defensive build to hang back and take all the hits. Um, these are really good cards. We have four copies of Hex Bolt, which I really love. It's an event for two. It's a spell. It's a hero action. Just got a top three cards of the encounter deck. For each card is guided this way that has boost icons equal to, and then you have four effects based on how many boost icons the card would have. So you discard three cards, and depending on the boost icons, you do certain things. So if there are no boost icons, do damage to your enemy, it has one, remove two effects from the scheme, it'll have two boost icons, you draw a card, it has three or more, put a status card on any character. So you get three cards on the counter deck. You look what they've got, one can have one, you can have one boost icon, one can have two boost icons, one can have zero. Then you use this to decide what effects you're going to do. And obviously this also plays well for your ability to manipulate the counter deck and get certain ones you need. Maybe you had something you think, oh I don't want to do two effects from a scheme, I don't really need that at the moment. So you can just use her ability once per phase and get another card instead and hopefully get the, the event you want. It's a really good card because it's so useful against any situation. You know, you can damage, effect from a scheme, draw a card. Give characters stunned or tough status cards. It's a really, really great, quite cheap uh, card. But obviously, with her deck, you're going to be going for the counter deck quite a lot. So be careful because you are going to literally melt for that encounter deck and get acceleration tokens on the main scheme. 
Another one of powerful, really powerful spells is Modular Decay. It's an event for three. Another spell. It's a hero action. Deal five damage to your enemy and discard the top two cards and then counter deck. For each boost icon discarded this way, deal one additional damage to the enemy. So you'll deal five damage straight away. And then in addition to that, you discard two cards to counter deck. And then you add up the boost icons on those cards and deal extra damage equal to the boost icons on those cards. So like I said before, with her ability, you can even try and get special damage out with Modular Delay, which is really a... One of the things we like about her deck, it's just it's just really chaotic and crazy. Uh, we also have a copy of the upgrade, sorry, the Magic's Delay, it's for three there. We have a Scarlet Widow's Crest, upgrade for two. It's a interrupt and boost icons on a counter card are counted. Exhaust Scarlet Witch's Crest, increase or decrease the number of boost icons on that card by one for this count. So essentially, if you had a attack and they had a boost card, two icons, you could exhaust this and reduce it by one, or increase it by one if you wanted to. It does come into play well with Modular Decay and Hex Bolt. It's all, it's all synergizes in manipulating that encounter deck to get what you need. And lastly, a copy of uh, Agatha Harkness, um, which obviously is in the uh, One Division TV show, which just recently found out. Exhaust Agatha Harkness, Ultra Eager Action. Look at the top three cards of your deck, add one of those to your hand and place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. It's a pretty handy card to get, especially early on when you get to your Ultra Ego form. You basically look at the top three cards of your deck and add one to your hand. It's just it's pretty simple really, but it's a really good card with this deck. It lets you filter through quite fast because we are going to be drawing cards quite quickly. and going through our deck too as well. So that's his signature cards. So like I said before, this is a protection build. So we're going to be very defensive. And also quite a few stun cards too. So... So now the protection cards, so we have obviously power protection, but extra resources. Iron Fist, because he has two basic counters, you can attack, move a counter, stun an enemy. So we're going to try and stun the enemy quite a bit in this deck, to keep him basically to keep the enemy um, hold back from attacking. And then we've got a lot of defensive cards out as well to defend from attacks, but this way, especially in solo, we can just sit back and let our ball build up and just keep hitting with the powerful spell cards. We also have a copy of Black Widow to basically um, deal with pesky encounter cards. When an encounter card is revealed, they exhaust Black Widow, a mental resource, counter the effects of that card and a Scarlet, and reveal another card from the counter deck instead. So if a card comes up, that's getting really pesky for it, maybe a tough maybe a tough minion, or maybe if you're going to get stunned and we're about to win, it's just really useful to have out. Uh, two copies of Unflappable, a match one per player, defend from attack and take no damage, exhaust Flappable and draw a card. Basically, this build, we shouldn't be taking much damage, really, especially with a copy of the uh, her defensive cards and the protection build in general. And drawing extra cards for us is really helpful. Then powerful spells we need to get out. Two copies of Electrostatic Armor. As defending against an attack, do one damage to attacking character. This is great for getting rid of Tusk Status cards, uh, pesky minions, and so forth. So that's really good to have out with her build. Three copies of Tackle. Stun an enemy, you pay this card using a physical resource, deal 3 damage, basically just to keep it stunned, like a stun lock build, basically keep the enemy stunned as long as we can, it's a really good card to have. Uh, Primitive Strike, I thought would be really good at this build because it's a defensive event for 1. When a boost card is turned face up while the villain attacks, cancel boost icons on that card, then deal 1 damage to the villain for each boost icon cancelled this way. So we can use this combination of her abilities and signature cards to manipulate the uh, account deck hopefully increase the boost icons or have a more powerful attack and then basically use this to cancel it and the damage back to the uh, enemy. I thought be a really good idea to use that. Armor Vest, pressure defense, pretty simple, speaks for itself. Uh, we have two cop three copies now back down. Because obviously this build we're going to be defending quite a lot, not taking too much damage. Uh, it's event for one. When you defend against the attack, you get plus two defenses attack. If you take no damage from the attack, stun the attacking enemy. So like the other cards, I want to basically Defend, take up damage, and stun the enemies to give me more time to basically build up my board and do more things. And lastly, two copies of Energy Barrier, just for extra uh, defense to basically reduce damage and help synergize the other cards and keep Wanda and Scarlet Witch alive for longer. And finally, I have a few copies of the basic cards. We have a really good card that comes with Wanda's deck, which I really, really love. It is called Spiritual Meditation. And what this card does is it's an event for zero, spell. Play the character has the mystic traits, which we do. Action, draw two cards, you can just card one card from your hand. So basically, it's a free draw two cards, card one card uh, card. It's just such a good card to have. You can basically just draw three decks so fast with this and keep going through and getting cards you need, getting cards you don't need at a time. It's just such a better central card. I mean, this in uh, Wanda or Doctor Strange, I recommend fully to have in that deck. 
Order and Chaos is an event for one. Obviously, I need quick, I need quick stuff at the same time. But it's really useful because when a treachery card is revealed and encounter deck, it cancels when reveal effects and then deal two damage to the villain. It's just really handy to have. It really, this card has saved me a few times in this build, so I like to have it in the deck. Uh, obviously, the resource cards to pay for the, the uh, cards I need. And lastly, a copy of the Sorcerer Supreme. Play only if you have Mystic Traits and get plus one hand size while in hero form. So we have six hand size when in hero form. And that's it for the protection build. So we're going to see us in action now. I'm going to play a quick game and show you how this deck works. Okay, Wanda versus Taskmaster on expert mode using a regular setup of uh, Hydra Patrol and Weapon Master. We've got uh, Hunting Down Heroes already on one. We've got the set aside captive allies for their face down. Hydra Patrol already out on two. And when defeated, we have to get a Hydra minion out point to play engage with us. We already have a face down encounter card. Here's effect 16 health. We've got 10 health. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our vest, tackle, definitely. Armor, really good. I don't need Order and Chaos right now, so we're going to discard Order and Chaos. I don't need that and draw another card. Hexball could be good. So we're going to flip her over. We're going to use. Let's game Stun Dilly on. Well, first of all, split meditation actually. Draw two cards and discard one. So one, two, another split meditation. We'll discard the armor, definitely need that right now. We'll do it again. One, two, molecular decay. We'll get rid of the armored vest just for now. And we will play, let's play Iron Fist for some extra defense, some stun. So he has two Misty Counters on him. He can help us stun. We're then going to, first of all, let's get rid of the Pesky Hydra Patrol, so two. Oh, we take damage from this, so... Change the hero form, sorry, so... Ooh, take three damage, but we use her ability to discard that instead. Do another one. We'll take one damage instead. That ability is pretty handy. One damage instead. I'll take that. That's very good. Four for two. Get rid of this. Need to search the encounter deck for a minion. Let's find a weak one and put it into play. Where's them little inciting ones? Them ones, they're pretty weak. They're good. I don't mind these ones, I can I can handle these ones. They aren't revealed, so no uh, threat in the main scheme. We'll get Iron Fist to attack Taskmaster directly. Remove a Mystic Counter and Stunning. So he's down to 14 and he is stunned. Then we will play Hexbolt. It costs two, so we can perfectly play Hexbolt. See what we get. One, two, three. So We've got perfectly zero boost icons, one boost icon, two boost icons. So first of all, two damage to your enemy, that's going away. Second of all, we get to move two threat from a scheme. That'll be that one. And two is draw a card. Probably gonna use something useless. Let's see what we get. Uh, ooh, Source of Supreme, I'll definitely keep that. That's first turn over. So we've got rid of the side scheme, two damage, a minion, and we stunned him already. So that's a pretty good start, I think. Source of Supreme, two, three, four, five. Okay, another meditation. Cards are so good. Source of Supreme, extra hand size going really handy. That can help us stun. Magic Shield prevent damage and molecular decay for supreme damage on the enemy. So first of all, we add one threat to the main scheme, and we have a choose to add another threat or take one damage between hero form. We'll add another threat just to while it's quite low. Move the stun card. First counter card from his face down thing was. Uh, the combat knife gives him piercing and plus one attack. Regular encounter card now. Uh, he attacks me. We'll defend with Scarlet Witch. So two plus two. We'll use her ability once per phase to score that instead. Hopefully, get a better one. <laughs> I've got a worse one. I forgot to do that one. Yeah, I've got to take three damage. It didn't work out very well. One, two, three. I got too cocky. One, two, three. Okay, fair enough. Okay, I'll go. First of all, definitely going to attack with Taskmaster and keep him stunned as long as I can. So down to two. I should have another one with that. Should have, should have been no, extra damage with combat knife, my bad. Extra damage with combat knife, notice that. We'll do meditation, draw two cards, discard one. Tackle, unflappable. We'll get rid of uh, magic shield. We'll play Sorcerer Supreme. 
We'll wait out to play more of the Decay, that's a really good card. We will ready up. Extra hand size now in hero form, so three, four, five, six. Okay, we can definitely play more like the Decay next turn. We'll still put an extra uh, threat on here because we're still quite low. Stun card is gone, so next turn he's free to attack. And counter card is Exhaustion. We're definitely going to play Warp Reality instead. We'll play uh, Tackle and play Warp Reality. Uh, cancel this and counter card. And discard cards to counter deck equals the boost icons on that card. So discard two cards and then counter deck. So one, two. Got rid of two nasty treacheries there. That was pretty handy. That was lucky. Okay, I'll go. Uh, we'll play. I want to save there back down some defense. So we're just going to play uh, Molecular Decay. So we'll do so it does attack. Five damage to the enemy. One, two, three, four, five. It's got two cards to counter deck. And for each boost, I can card this way. Do one different damage to that enemy. So one and two. Use her ability to discard that one, that one, one instead. Still the same, it's still three damage. Extra three damage gone straight through. One, two, three. I'm going to thwart the main scheme. Let's see, I'm gonna switch down to Alter Ego maybe. Try stunning him. Two, three, four, it's not enough. Go to Alter Ego and recover some hit points. So ready up. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. A lot of defensive cards here. A lot of green, okay. Um, we're in here at four, that's not applied to us, so he schemes now. Two plus uh, two is four. So let's get a bit higher now. Counter card, caught off guard, upgrade of support control. Oh, got the source of supreme, no. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to first of all definitely cover to get back up our hit points to a nice eight. Use her ability. I'm going to get rid of the armor and unflappable to draw two cards. One, two. Magic shield and quicksilver. That could be good. Flip her over. I think I'll play quicksilver. So one, two, uh, three, four. Quicksilver. So he can basically attack twice if we need him to. We'll have him attack uh, once. Actually, yeah, attack twice. Ready up, attack again. That's four damage. So stage two is completed on stage three. Uh, same ability. We need to do that discard card thing. I forgot, my bad. So we we'll discard a card for this thing. So we take one damage. I can handle that, okay? Because we're in hero form. Because of his ability, so he's on 17 hit points. Scheme's getting a bit high, but we're okay for now, so ready up. So, two, three, four, five. Another hex bolt, that's what we need. So, we'll take one damage this time. So, four, five, six, and eight on the scheme, that's getting a bit pesky. He attacks, we'll sacrifice. Actually, can we use preemptive strike or something to do it? We'll defend with Iron Fist. So, three, four, Five, six. We'll say that's fine. We'll leave that for now. He's gone. Uh, we have a counter card. Here's been we've got two encounter cards. One from him being stage three and a regular one. So the first one. His training camp. After minion enters play, give it a tough status card. Hopefully we don't get a minion next. And regular encounter card. A concussion grenade. You are stunned. You want to damage to your hero. Okay. That's pretty annoying. I don't like being stunned, that's not what I want to do. Okay, so definite hex bolt. We'll use plenty strike twice for that. So we'll play hex bolt. So attack first, go to stunned, just in case. Then play hex bolt, get a stun card. So one, two, and three. That could be pretty good actually. So we've got two sets of one. That'll be uh, four threat from a scheme, so we'll use two from this and two from this. Love Hex Bolt, it's so fun. And two is to draw a card. Another Hex Bolt. Uh, you know what? Let's play it again. Let's see what we get. Just a, just a bit of luck. Hex Bolt again. So one, 
two, three. Two damage to enemy, draw a card, threat from a scheme. I don't think I want to draw a card, so discard that one and draw another one instead. That's two again, so either way. So two damage to enemy. Move one, two threat from a scheme. And draw a card. Here, crest. Um, okay, I'll do for now. And we'll just might as well attack once more Quicksilver. Just to get him down a little bit more. Down to 13. Okay, ready up. So, two, three, five. We've got another Hex Bolt, Agatha, and Molecular Decay. Should be okay with that. So, he has. We'll play and put two threat on the main scheme for now. So, he's on six. Quick still look and defend. So, three, four, five, six. We're out to allies. He's dead. Gone. Counter card. His shield gives retaliate one. That's pretty irritating. Okay, so we're going to do a big old blast of molecular decay. See what we get. So five damage. Also, we'll take one damage now. Get out of the way. So that's five damage straight up. So one, two, three, four, five. It was on eight. Can I get two sets? Two sets of three. That'd be really, really good. So one and two. Oh, we've got one. Let's try to discard this one with her ability in the second one. Oh, four damage though. He's down to four. One, two, three, four. We're nearly there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe cut in hero form and risk taking four, at least four damage. Oh, this is very risky. But I've got Hex Bolt, so maybe next turn I can finish him off. No, what we're going to do is we're going to fort. We're going to play it safe. We're going to fort for two. Flip her over and then wait it out. So, two, three, four, five, six. So, we've got two encounter cards. But hopefully, this turn we can get him uh, finished off if we're lucky. So, we have now back down Chaos Magic. That could be good. We can just go all out in the last turn, hopefully, hopefully, finish him off. So, one threat on the main scheme. He schemes. So, three plus. If you're in hero, 40 on damage with some threat on the main scheme. So it's four in total. So I'll take one off and put five on. It's quite high. Two encounter cards now, because obviously I uh, shuffle my deck. Last two. Hydra Hunter. Ah, uh, Slipping Sanity. We will exhaust Slipping Sanity and remove uh, from the game. You do get two copies of Slipping Sanity in your, your obligation deck. Some people said it was a, an error or something, but... I think it just means she's just so chaotic and so crazy that she has two powerful, you know, obligations because she's that dangerous. So we have that there. And we have a Salvation Token. So hopefully this is our last turn. We need to do four damage to win. Let's uh, let's use her ability to discard two cards. So we're going to discard Energy Barrier. Uh, now back down. Let's get two more. That's there. Flip her over. We're going to pay... Uh, two for hex bolt. So one, two, three. We'll discard this. We're gonna get some more damage. Oh, it didn't work. So we we'll draw. So we're gonna draw a card with that one. Mark of decay. That's looking good. Two damage. One, two. Set this card on a character. Let's get him stunned just to rip his face. Then we're going to play Chaos Magic to play a card from my hand, ignoring its cost, to discard cards instead. So, Mass of Decay, discard three cards. One, two, three. So, sure to one from Retaliate for the first one. Retaliate from this one, so we're down to, down to two. Five damage to enemy, so that's five, and then six, seven, eight. Eight damage, and we've done. That's it. Uh, game over. It was pretty close. I didn't get down my defensive thing I wanted, but keeping stunned early on helped me build up some uh, forces, but he is quite tricky on expert mode. And that's it for this playthrough. That is Wanda, Scarlet Witch, and protection build. If you want to see a different build, maybe aggression or protection, maybe, or, or sorry, aggression or leadership, uh, let me know in the comments what you thought about any of your cards, any of the play styles, if you want to see, if you want to see here and put still together, let me know. If you like this video, uh, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.